All right, so no compiler drill down this time around. So we are just going to kind of skip to what I wanted to show with this newer form of, uh, of trees, basically. So I would have told you about you know, all these different types of trees. Like, so this is a, a simple tree that would have been parsed. And it would have said, you know, you've got some register, and you're adding 4 to it. So here we've got the frame pointer. And so we're doing frame pointer plus 4. In x86, this would be like EDP plus 4. And so um, basically, how, how someone trying to parse this sort of tree would go is they do kind of a depth first search. So they'd go to the, uh, to the left first. They'd go down to this entry, and they'd say, OK, I have this register, register entry. And so based on that, I'm going to spit out some particular assembly for my language. And so the point is, the tree is supposed to be more of an abstract representation. And then from there, you spit out whatever is appropriate for your given assembly language, whether it's x86, ARM, RPC, whatever. And so you just say, register, frame pointer. OK, on x86, I'm going to push an EVP. And then you go up, and then you go down the other branch, and you say, constant 4. OK, I'm going to push this 4 onto the stack. And then you go up, and you do plus. And so then you, you put some code that says pops EAX. So it's going to take this 4 that was just pushed onto the stack, and it's going to pop it off into EAX. So it's sort of like just doing EAX equals 4. And then you're going to do add. And then square brackets ESP. This was um, in, in, our, our, in our Intel assembly syntax. Square brackets basically meant take whatever's inside the square brackets and go to memory. Treat that as a memory address and go to memory and pull something out of there. So we basically would be saying at ESP, this would be the, the uh, value of EVP, which was pushed here. And so we're going to say at ESP, we're going to take and pull that out, add that to EAX, which is 4, put them together, and then uh, we're going to store them back into ESP, the top of the stack. So again, as I said, uh, I'm not assuming you know assembly for this class. So this is really more to show that there's some particular way that the compiler will parse this tree and spit out a expected assembly in order to always be able to handle this in a generic way. So you can make these trees as complicated as you want, but it's still just using the same sort of uh, rote method of, you know, it's an algorithmic method. It's just parses the tree and it spits out fixed assembly, and that will generate and do whatever the tree was trying to accomplish. All right. So that's as far as I'm going to get into that. Any questions on that? That, like, you know, a few seconds of talking about compiler stuff. <laughs> 